purpose that the hair is wet and either comb it back like this or forward one of those things you have very dense hair so i am combing it back okay, okay. and then part it in layers and layer by layer you roll this but you do not be very rough with this you have to be deliberate and sustained from this you go to this all the way huh? so now we will start from here now this is how much it will pinch hmm? okay so we move like this any time it gets stuck so you lift it see i am moving it in the direction of your hair not across the direction of your hair so this way this way so this is creating channels are you feeling the needles okay no i am asking you are you feeling them or no feeling them is it too much pain or is it bearable bearable okay this is how we go about right okay. so we make it properly like this then we see that your crown is the area that seems to me as if it is thinning a bit so in this area because the hair direction changes so we'll change the way our derma roller moves like this apart it is going like this hmm you can feel it now now i'm going towards the back so i have to move it like this hmm similarly back part now here the direction is going back so we go like this and this way now we go back again in the front area which we had left and we start right from front so wherever it gets stuck i stop i lift it i go back and i do it like this hmm again this way your skin will get a bit pink okay don't worry that is because the blood supply increases so now look up we come to this last part this one so this is moving through wet hair wetting your hair is very important if you move it through dry hair then it will cause a lot of hair breakage we don't want that so we have covered the entire area is any area left apply yes yes, yes of course ah, see you know. how i do it i'll tell you every monday i do it for myself yesterday i do it so that time the best time is when you have taken your bath after that your head is completely wet and then you do hmm? okay. okay now i have used half millimeter Okay. needles only very short ones okay but slowly you have to go to 1 mm and then 1.5 mm okay. see them this one this is free of preservative so we make it in house for patients now uh, we can apply it in all the places where we did the derma roller so in your case since you have lots of hair so we have to go carefully in between all those layers you don't have to waste it on the head i mean no don't waste it on your hair okay. and we'll apply layer by layer so your scalp is totally don't waste it on your hair it is not very cheap So this area I see some thinner hair. So I'll put a bit more of resveratrol here. Hmm. And we'll rub it in. So wherever you have more thinning, use more resveratrol. 
and we rub. Now we go in the front part like this. Hmm. Very nice. This way. So, push the resveratrol serum and whatever we apply. Like right now, what I have done is I have used resveratrol serum freshly prepared along with grape seed extract. Both of these are very good for preserving your hair, protecting them from any harmful things. So, wherever I am going with the derma roller. I am making sure the hair are parted in front of it and then we see all the areas like this so when you go deeper with 1 millimeter and 1.5 millimeter then it may hurt but by that time your skin will be used to it right now maybe you are feeling needles now mm -hmm. are they troublesome in some areas little bit in some areas right so i use for myself i use 1 millimeter and 1.5 millimeter okay. but in the first time when i did even i couldn't use 1.5 millimeter it takes about 1 to 2 months okay. for one to realize that okay even one's knee, skin to realize that okay this is not something wrong uh, you know this part this is more painful in this area yeah, well, that yeah, is because yeah. the bones are uniting here no okay wherever you have thin skin mm -hmm. you will notice that okay? okay now we are pushing the resveratrol into the scalp again so dharma roller you do twice you can take someone's help if you want or do yourself, doing your oneself is easy because you know how much pain will be there. When someone else does it, if they are not trained, then it becomes a bit difficult. Okay. 